Hello and welcome to I Am Geek. This is episode 272. My name's Ryan. I'm joined by my brother Chris and our good pal Katrin. And Rick Chase is back here with us. Hello. So that must mean one thing and one thing only that Ray was bored and needed something to do. Oh, wow. It's very true. <laughs> I did need something to do. It's like, hey, Chris, you're doing your uh, pod thing. That Can pod I, uh, thing? <laughs> I don't yeah, like still, sleep. So, <laughs> doing that talky talk thing. <laughs> I'm having a hard time getting to bed at night. So if you guys could just bore me to sleep, that would be fantastic. Well, you came to the right place. Woo-hoo! I knew it. <laughs> We're doing another round table tonight of the Mandalorian. But first, um, we are Chris and I. Katrin mm. is not. Mm-mm. <sighs> like, I don't even know why they're still having the thing because Katrin's not going to be there. True. Mm. Chris sense. and I, unless they kick us out for not getting anything to do <laughs> yet uh are going to be at comic palooza at the Woo. end of may in houston i would tell you the dates but it's yeah the end of may i'm in the may it's like the last, last weekend, weekend of may yeah last weekend of may that's that's what most people want to know yeah last weekend of may chris and i will be there so get your tickets now so you can like wave at us. There, but yeah, May May twenty sixth to the twenty eighth. There you go. I was thinking that was right. Uh, I mean, it's such well, a it's going to be a good weekend. There's probably. a lot of good guests this year. Yeah, and um, they've done are. a really yeah. good job. Um, and I th- I think it's a bad one for me to miss, but it is what it is. So. <laughs> it seems like all the guests that they got this year are guests that you are fans of, Katrin. <laughs> That's right. Uh, yeah, and they're, they're like we're, we're doing all of this for Katrin, and then he doesn't yeah. show up. <laughs> Yeah, specifically the Vampire Diaries. The Vampire Diaries. <laughs> it's more the wife, but I, I did enjoy the series. Uh, I, I won't deny it. I did enjoy the series because I'm looking. You guys are sending the guests in the text, and I'm looking at them like, yeah, I don't know who half of these most of these people are. <laughs> uh, well, you guys are so excited. I'm like, I don't know. I guess I'm just yeah. watch too much Bluey. <laughs> There's a lot from Arrow. There's yeah. like, of course, Stephen Amell is going to be there. Rick Gonzalez. Um, yeah. Juliana Harkavy, Colton Haynes. Um, then there's also um, just got announced today, I believe, Alakwa oh. Cox. I think is her name is. She played Did Echo and Hawkeye. Oh. oh, she was supposed to be there last year, and she canceled. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> and then Chad L. Coleman, who was on The Walking Dead, and a few other things. They're the guys um, from The Boys. You may have already said their names, but I don't know. Yeah, The Boys. Yeah, they got um, <laughs> Jack Jack Quaid. Yeah. Okay. And um, uh, Anthony Starr and Carl Urban. All from oh. Um, also, so you're telling me there's no Bluey characters that are going to be there? Uh, there's no I'm not Star Wars, be. it sounds like, Ryan. I'm not seeing any Bluey. Uh, Lou Diamond Phillips there, might be the closest. Um, there was, Bluey. There is one um, actor that's going to be there that uh, in his credits, you'll see Mandalorian in there <laughs> or something no. like something. He likes to watch it. Man in the background. <laughs> and it, yeah, it was, I don't know. Oh, it was. Maybe it's a uh, blue jean guy from season blue two. <laughs> no, no, that was Obi-Wan. Never mind. That was Obi-Wan. Oh. I'm tired. And, and of they course, got blue jean guy then. <sighs> woo, it's all over. Right there. They, do, they do have the great William Shatner. Gonna yeah. Be oh, William Shatner. That's not there. Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> Star Trek. Star Trek. We'll be there. <laughs> I mean, we may be like on the sidewalk there because they don't let us in. <laughs> they they ne- they never we'll announce there. everybody. There's usually some others that come up that tag along. Like sometimes the wrestlers just all of a sudden they show up like you don't know who's coming and they show <laughs> they up. No, there. They got nowhere Elbow else to be. <laughs> yeah. And then um yeah, the wrestlers, and then there was always some other just random people that hmm. you're like, oh, let's go, like Sergeant Slaughter. That's what well, he's a wrestler, I know, but um, yeah, he, but he was he one did, that he I got didn't a expect until at yeah, the end. Yeah, he, he got, got a booth, booth. and I was kicking myself for not going and get my picture with him. As oh, we told you, we told Co- you, Cobra <laughs> Kai Mander is my cosplay last year. I don't even know. Well, I mean, Chris, are you are you dressing up this year? Ah, uh, probably not. You got that IG <laughs> helmet finished. <laughs> It could be IG thirteen. Yes, <laughs> I may like if I dress be up. The blown apart IG. Yeah, oh, if I dress up, I'll just wear what I'm wearing to the Star Cruiser. Probably, yeah. it's already it'll already be done. Why I'll not? Be standing there, mm-hmm. like might as well get another use out of it. Oh, so, so the Star Cruiser has not happened yet. 
Oh no, May fourth oh, oh, or May third, May third. Oh. So I'll be there for May fourth, which will be a party. Wow. It'll be in you. this space. Man, that ship's gonna be rocking. Mm-hmm. It will be. <laughs> Gaia's album drops at, and you don't know who Gaia oh, is. Oh my lord! But her album <laughs> drops. Go oh, well. At, on the fourth, <laughs> he's a character on the Star Cruiser. Uh, he's a so character. Her album, her space <laughs> album's gonna drop. It's gonna be. What's it dropping so on exactly? <laughs> like, mm. what do they have in Star Wars? It's like, what's it dropping? Well, I mean, on? it's gonna be like on Spotify, probably. It's some oh. droid. <laughs> they have Spotify <laughs> and droid. Star Trek, Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. And well, neither. They have all <laughs> neither. kinds of other stuff. I mean, There's and, a whole channel on, um, I think he's on YouTube too, but I watch him on TikTok. Nice guy. We, we've chatted back and forth uh, for the lore. And he goes, his like has a series that is $30 accurate props from Star Wars. And he's like, you could buy this on Amazon right now for $30. Yeah. Or you could get this wow. for now or cheaper. Hmm. And so it's really cool because like, He'll just find like all this stuff that was like in the Mandalorian. It, he's like, yeah, yeah you can buy a, this right now. The chair hmm. that it's at the end of Mandalorian. Yeah. He, he had expensive. that recently, and then <laughs> yeah, there, it's not all thirty dollars. A lot of yeah. it is. Uh, he started with thirty dollars, but now he's stuff. like, got to the yeah. More there stuff. was a uh, yeah a, um, a mug made out of yeah. metal or whatever, and that was in I think in Mandalorian, right? And it, it yeah, was that was there. the uh, oh well, axe axe whatever his name is yeah. One sure. of the other Mandalorians who was drinking out of it. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, that was one X. of them. And bottle and all kinds of stuff. X body spray. In fact, that wine <laughs> bottle that, uh, what's his name, gives him Paulo Creed or whatever his name is, or gives him the, <laughs> yeah. the, uh, the it, you can actually buy that bottle. <laughs> that yeah. Just, oh. It's expensive. It's OG Apollo Creed. Yeah. <laughs> So, any, I'm trying to think. Oh, annual passes for Disney World went on sale and then immediately went off sale <laughs> uh, today, I think. I think they reached their limit. Yeah, um, I imagine they did. Uh, yeah, I was reading people uh, <laughs> took them six hours to finally get a pass. Wow. People, people got on uh, at like f- into the waiting rooms at like 5 30, 6 o'clock in the morning and bah. were there all day. Thanks. <laughs> <Yikes. laughs> It's like Taylor Swift tickets or something. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> real fast. Taylor. Real fast. Wait on my. I don't <laughs> feel so bad about going on the Star Cruiser after seeing what people are paying for Taylor Swift tickets. Oh yeah. There was a video of these three ladies, <laughs> and they're like, "Yeah, we went to the. We're going to the show in Tampa, and the bank or the Chase took my money and you know all six thousand dollars of it for our tickets." And now we don't have tickets because they gave them away or something, but they took our $6,000. I'm like, $6,000? Are you on stage dance, singing with her? Yeah, like, do you get to like be a roommate or something? <laughs> I, I cannot think of one single concert that I would pay that much for. I mean, it's three people, but still. Wow. Two grand mm-hmm. apiece, eh? Yeah. Jeez. For a, a, a concert that you can watch most of it on YouTube. <laughs> well, I, but you're not there. But f- would you pay that much to see? Oh no, no, I'll leave that to my niece that's going to Nashville. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah. know what they paid, but Six they're going. Months. And uh, <laughs> no, I don't think they. I don't think it was too too bad. But um, they spent the weekend uh, over Easter weekend. Her and a bunch of other girls that are going different times. They've made all these bracelets that. Apparently that's the thing. Like when you go to Taylor Swift concert, uh, either I guess you share them with other Swifties or whatever they're called, and and uh, <laughs> or if you, if you're if you yeah, I used near, one of those earlier, <laughs> if you get near the, the the stage, I guess you could actually trade with her. Like she could take yours that you made. Wow. So that was like that was a big deal. Like, pen like, trading. Yeah, like she'll give, she'll give you a bracelet. Is it like a diamond so, bracelet to make it? No, a she would just yeah, take your bracelets. So. You're giving oh, her six thousand dollars, and you're giving her bracelets. That's, ah, no, yeah. this is a bad it's a, rap. It's here. a racket. But, I mean, you can say she took my bracelet, and immediately I mean, tossed even it away you go on, the, on the Star Cruiser, you get like a pin. I mean, oh, and free <laughs> ice cream or something too. Right? Blue, all the blue milk oh. you can drink, and green Which milk, is, I guess. 
Which is like a tablespoon. Which is, yeah, which is not that much. <laughs> it's just like, oh, man. I've got, oh. <laughs> more? Would you like some more now? Please, no. Please, no. Please, no. I'll give you I'll more. Tell you anything you want to know. <laughs> but I am in the final countdown. I'm like in crunch week to get everything done to, to be able to go um, get my orders done, getting my new May the 4th releases for I Am Geek Shop, my Kyber Crystals. Um, ready i i'm bitten off more than i got you guys i'm i'm doing a make a wish foundation mouth, so. <laughs> um no not really i got a small mouth uh make, make a wish <laughs> foundation um not raffle um auction so i'm making crystals for that it's just uh, the first word problems you know <laughs> i'm excited though. more thing i'm so I'm busy excited. doing things i love I know. <laughs> I hate it. Oh. <laughs> oh. I hate loving I'm this excited. stuff so much. <laughs> Why do I love so much? <laughs> <laughs> I give and I give. I do I do sort of wish that I could just like I feel like because how much it is, I'm like, I gotta push these copper crystals. I gotta make this money back. I wish I didn't do didn't have to do that. <laughs> and you could just like go. But I'm like next day I'll be pushing death sticks or something when I'm on bar. Serious. You, you can hang out front. You'd be like a, like a Star Wars homeless person. You know, Kyber yeah. crystals. Hey, man. Hey, man. I got some good Kyber crystals over here, man. <laughs> Come on. First one free. Come Let's on. Go. You got some credits? You got some credits? <laughs> <laughs> I need credits, man. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So Mandalorian has wrapped. I can't believe the season is over. I know. It feels like yeah. it just began. Um, Only just begun. But everybody has on on here has watched it. There, we will be spoiling. There will be spoilers. So if you don't <laughs> want to listen to spoilers, just still keep it on in the background. Just mute it so we get the listens mm. and the views. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> you just look at our, our movement things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can watch. We can watch us. I uh, just. And then come back and, and listen, watch later. But this is one of our famous roundtables that has that has been discussed all over the, the world. Everyone on the Star Cruiser <laughs> talks about it nonstop. Mm-hmm. I know. Like, Everyone in the <laughs> fictional yeah. Star Cruiser world talks about. Everyone in that box. <laughs> oh, cannot stop I'm, talking about I'm, that hot. I don't box. care. <laughs> I don't care. It's real to me. They can talk about me. Other ones. <laughs> All right. So uh, we had. Oh, wow. I'm I'm bad tonight, guys. How many episodes were there for this? Eight. Season? Always eight. eight. Oh, it feels oh. like less. It does it feel like less. Like feels six. like it just started. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's like overall. Episode. Overall, I'll say that I enjoyed this season. Overall. There was some stuff that you're like, huh. But overall, um, which we'll get into the stuff. Overall, I thought it was a fun season. And um, and I'm, I'm glad that it ended happy for now. I feel yeah. like, <laughs> I, I feel like personally I needed that. I'm like, I just need a show that's going to end happy. It had its sad moments, but overall, it was a happy ending, which was... Sort of, I thought a little bit refreshing for Star Wars, especially when Dave Filoni's behind it. He likes to, you know, <laughs> twist and shove that knife in. Um, but he, they ended it happy, which we'll get on into all that. So overall, how did you guys feel about the season? It was good. It was good. Yeah. Oh gosh. <laughs> good night, everybody. <laughs> I liked it a lot. There was one episode I didn't care for as much, but. Oh, overall, it was great. Overall, I enjoyed it. I mean, it, it had had a bit of a slow burn at the beginning, getting into what yeah. it needed to get into. Yeah. Overall, but like a lot of a lot of a lot of, lot of setup. But overall, I, I I enjoyed it. I liked it okay enough. Oh, <laughs> it's there it's we go. Favorite. It's my least favorite of the three. It's my least favorite. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I can see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. The, the three, yeah. Yes. We'll hear when, Mando, it in the when Mando and Grogu were in the episode, I liked it a lot. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> there, you go. there were quite a few times where they weren't. <laughs> exactly. Like, Where'd they go? Okay. 
I'm, I'm beginning much? to wonder if Pedro Pascal was in it at all because this season he didn't take his helmet off at all, right? Nope. He did not. No. So his that could have been somebody else is walking around. Oh, it was. And he yeah. could have been mm-hmm. it is. in the hotel room. Most of the time it's like two Well, or most three of the time, guys. but usually it's, mm-hmm. there's yeah. sometimes when he's in it. Mm-hmm. But this season. This, this, this is the way. This is the way. He didn't have to. This is the way. And they probably could have just taken uh, his lines from other seasons, edited them together, and put them in this. He probably wasn't even there the whole time. Hmm. Hey, I you Mystery. doing Grogu? <laughs> <laughs> Grogu. We need another. This is the way. Do we have another? This. Oh, we've got plenty of those. This is the way. <laughs> I can bring you hot and cold. <laughs> Soup. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right. So I'm trying to think back. We op- the 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 show you started you talked about a slow burn. I'm trying to think it's been so, it's been so a long the season time. starts, it's the apostate ap- ap- apostate. Apostate? How do you say that word? Um, but he's yeah. There you oh, go. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's at the at Navarro. Yes. 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 I remember. Yeah, he needs. He needs a droid. He needs a droid, but he yes. doesn't hate droids. But he hates droids. Yeah, he hates them. Yeah, Only he wants them. the one. This was this. This was the thing. Like out of the box, I was like, uh, "What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? Like droids are so hard to come by." <laughs> they had to get to the he point where there was droid. mech mech Grogu. They're they're trying to yes. get the mech mech Grogu, so they had to follow that rabbit trail. Sure. Which I sort of, I sort of like. I sort of. <laughs> I thought it was funny. I thought the, the yes, yes, no, no droid. That was all great. It's just yeah. the we we he this guy this droid yeah. saved us. We have a monument to him. We're gonna desecrate his body over and over and over again. <laughs> it's, it's like, a, just go get another was, droid, man. Yeah. yeah. This thing was blown to bits. Basically, you're gonna end up with a new droid at the end of yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely but it's one of the brain, the one. just the brain. Yeah. Uh, so all they got let's was do this. the voice chip. That's all they got out of that. <laughs> they got Taiko Atiti's voice chip. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, no, no. That's all they got. Um, yeah. Let's do this. Um, what were the highlights for everyone? Mm. Of episode one? No, or just of the series. series. <laughs> just, of the, just of the series. Oh, man. I, I think episode one had some highlights for me because you're just excited that it's back. But then there were also yeah. the pirates and the the fern guy, you know, the guy with the, like, <laughs> the henson the creature, pe- swamp peach thing. of the hut. Yeah, the <laughs> yeah, yeah. At first, it felt like uh, space balls or something for a minute, you know. But yeah. it, it's but I thought that Treasure was Island. Like, I thought it was really fun. <laughs> I was excited for everything to be back. You you get you see all the people. It's like, oh yeah, those guys from the new movies, and then you got these guys from um, whatever, and <laughs> it, it 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 was a lot of fun um, and. I was glad to have it back. Um, I, I I saw somebody say that their favorite two episodes were these last two, and I, I probably agree with that. Those that was the yeah. most exciting uh, yeah. times, <laughs> you yeah. know. And but yeah, uh, yeah. go ahead. Oh, sorry. sorry. It was it was cinematic. It was, it was cinematic. Very, yeah. yeah, the last two mm-hmm. episodes were very cinematic. It would have been nice if they could have spread out some of that feeling over more episodes. Yeah. Um, because yeah, the last mm-hmm. two were really cool, and um, it just felt like. And I get, you know, they're you know to build towards something, to build towards something. But after three seasons, it's like you've already built a lot. I mean, let's <laughs> just have it be awesome out of the box, and, and not you know, well, you know, we're gonna hang out with these Mandalorians living in Australia, dealing with all these things <laughs> that want to kill them. <laughs> okay, okay. Are we going to do something else? <laughs> yeah, we're going to go hang out with another character. You met him once. <laughs> Season one. How about if we spend the whole episode with him? Oh, okay. Is something cool so going to happen? Hi- so those are your <laughs> are highlights for the season, right? No, no, no. No, <laughs> no I, the last two episodes were great. Everything with the Mandalorians flying around, I thought visually Man. that all looked really cool. Oh, they did yeah, a really nice, nice job with those yeah. effects. It, it just felt effortless whenever they were, like, leave the ground. And Bo-Katan had like a freaking awesome move last night when she like 
was like running or something and she slid across the platform yeah. fell off the other side and her backpack engaged i was like oh, oh my yeah. god i did the same thing yeah i like audibly like screamed Audible was like, nice. awesome. was insane. yeah <laughs> for sure that, yeah. That, yeah, yeah, that last episode felt like a video game, though, too. I, I oh, mean, yeah, it did. Uh, <laughs> like, I can I'll imagine. Your weapon. <laughs> I can imagine you're, you're fighting Moff Gideon at the end of the game and, like, doing that scene over and over again. And you have to hear that part that he says <laughs> right before they start yeah, battling, yeah. like, over and over. Because you you know how they do that in video <laughs> games? Like, you get yeah. the, the boss. Uh -huh. Boss fight. You got you to gotta hear him say his speech spiel i remember this lord <laughs> of the rings game that i played uh where it, i re i remember it just kept happening over and over again where I, it was uh you were fighting the ghosts and it was like the return of the king game or something and it was i just remember yeah. that playing over and i was like gosh i gotta get past this part <laughs> but it i mean it, they built it like a video game a lot of the the shows and movies now that days i feel like that <clears throat> that's the way they are and it's like man i could really see this being this why don't they do this you know Oh, the um, whole Mandalorian series has been a video game, especially yeah. What made it for this season? What made it a video game is the the most to me was the uh, hallway scene where he's having to fight the uh, guards, one, and then the red the, the, the yes. red shield oh, opens yeah. up and he gets he upgrades <laughs> his weapon, <laughs> and then it opens and he upgrades his weapon again, yes. and then he upgrades yeah. his weapon again <laughs> for sure. Power I didn't look at my inventory. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Side quest. You've acquired a blaster. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it was. Use inspect. But I did uh, in chapter two. I did like um, the mines um, going into the, yeah. into the mines um, and like uh, Grogu kind of going off his own. It it very much paralleled the episode of the last of us that happened that week too. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Pascal is down and out. He can't do anything. So his uh, person that he usually protects has to help him out. <laughs> it's same episode for both shows, but uh, it was, it was good. I liked that. Um, and Bo-Katan got to go in and just kick some butt. Um, oh, so yeah. She was made yeah, out of, which was, was cool. cool. And that mech spider yeah. thing was awesome. I want yeah, to see, I want yeah. to see more of that. Like, where, where I know. Did this come I from? What is that? Yeah, I wish they'd gone into that more because it felt mm -hmm. like that was going to be something more. Yeah, but like a video game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just a little side boss. Was, yeah, yeah. Side boss. I always watch it with my son, and we we're trying to figure out like, are those geonosins? Are those what, yeah. what are those, those things? Those, like these yeah. like bird things with the staffs, and I was like, are they from geonosis? Is that from the, the prequels? Like, and we're trying to figure it out. And, and then, okay, well, that's probably going to come back later on, right? I mean, the planet's probably crawling with these things. Um, no. Um, we're never, we're never going <laughs> to see that again. <laughs> like, what? There was, come a, on. there was a lot of that in this season. A lot of people were like, this is going to happen. Oh, I see where they're going with this. And then it's like, no, nah, we're not going to do that. No, <laughs> you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the spies? No, we're not, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh Is yeah, yeah. S on the end of spies. Like, <laughs> yeah. But here's what I think about the spies. We'll just go into that right now. So I said it. Segue. Um, I think um, that it was a reference to the Mandalorians themselves. They were the spies. Mm. If you um, are familiar with the Bible, Mo <laughs> Moses <laughs> sent most well, Mandalorians. Yeah, yeah, well, well Moses <laughs> Moses sends 12 spies yeah, into boy. the promised land to stake it out. And in that episode, they sent the Mandalorians into their promised land to check it out. So to me, I think mm -hmm. the Mandalorians were the spies sent to check out Mandalore. And that's what it was all about. And it wasn't about who's betraying the Mandalorians, but the, the spies were the Mandalorians mm -hmm. going into this promised land that they hmm. were trying to take back. That's my thoughts on it, but I could be totally wrong. Well, I did, I did see somebody post a picture today on Twitter of the, uh, um, uh, oh gosh, the hammer lady. I just forgot her name. Their armorer? Their armorer. And it's basically <laughs> saying, we all owe her an apology. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. I think everybody, everybody had the same thought. <laughs> Even act. during the episode, I was like, dude. where is she? She went back up to the ship. We haven't seen her. Yeah. Where is she? 
Murray yeah. Schmidt. And, and the other guy. <laughs> everybody Mocking thought the other guy. Uh, what's his name? Axe or whatever. Is, what's his name? Axel Rose. Axe body spray. Yeah. No, what's the guy's name? The guy that <laughs> crashes the Axel, big ship. Yeah, Axel the guy that Rose. goes up and he he takes the I, ship down. I don't know, but I gotta hand it to him in crashing a ship oh. in the Star Wars universe because he knew you could aim it and leave. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he didn't have to stick around. Yeah. And Axel die with it. That's yeah, Wolves, I think. But yeah, if, he pack, have, if he didn't have, if he didn't have a jetpack, jet pack. he couldn't have done it. Though. He could have. Well, uh, I don't know. There, there could have been a. Uh, I mean, that's a giant ship. You think there'd be little ships on it? I don't know. They already took all this. I was wondering. I was like, can he not just get out of this thing? Like, is it there something he could just take he off? Let's talk about. Let's talk about the jet pack. the window, fly out. Yeah, let's fly talk out. about the jetpacks in episode. The never-ending fuel. <laughs> well, in episode where they're chasing they, a giant bird, when they're going after <laughs> the giant dragon bird thing, they run yeah. out of fuel. Yeah. But <laughs> they can go from the depths of a planet, the depths of the planet, into outer space, <laughs> no problem, and they can fly again yeah. out of the ship. Well, that's a straight ship. shot. The the birds yeah. like weaving. Mm-hmm. He probably fueled up right before, and then that day <laughs> they were, you know, having I having it. all the problems with yeah. the Australian yeah. wildlife, and they were like, you know what, we probably should have fueled up before we chased the birds. Be, we're gonna I mean, like they're out this. in the wilderness. Like, they have to chase this bird every day. They don't have I the guess. fuel yeah. for that. Yeah, I guess. Uh, Speaking <laughs> of the birds, what did they did eat the those people, birds? What did the people of Navarro think when these gigantic velociraptor things came pouncing <laughs> out of the ship? I mean, they, they, they relocate. And they're like, oh, you? by the way, we got these giant, three giant birds that like to yeah, kill things. Eating. Did they eat one of those birds? I was wondering. They look giant and tasty. I was like, Mm -hmm. well, there's the the scene afterwards where they're all standing around this big fire and there's this big bird shaped hunk of meat on the the spit. On the spit. Don't tell Din. (laughs) (laughs) This is the this is the way. Mm. We ate his birds. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. I don't know. But I enjoyed the season. I even liked the uh, Jack Black episode where people were sort of giving that one a hard time. I thought it was a fun episode. Uh, the I, Mandalorian I liked, Celebrity Edition? I, I liked it. <laughs> Scooby-Doo episode? I it's it was not. It was a buddy Christopher cop. Lloyd! <laughs> Hi, kids! <laughs> I, I liked it. I thought it was. It a was fun. fun. Mm. Uh, the, the the moment I like, I didn't even see Jack Black, and but I heard him. I was like, "Yes, yes, Jack Black." <laughs> <laughs> now, see, I didn't know who Lizzo was. I figured she was probably someone. Oh, I, um, yeah. Until the credits, Christopher Lloyd. I mean, I recognized him right off, but I think mm-hmm. like my son did not. I mean, he. he bald and he's older so yeah. he's a little, a little yeah. bit more hidden i was waiting when he got zapped for him to go one two one 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 check what <laughs> and it's, and I, was like, oh, I missed opportunity great um, scott. yeah great scott <laughs> it did seem like towards the end though when he was getting all mad he was gonna you know i would have gotten away with it had it not been for you pesky mandalorians um, <laughs> yeah. and your little Grogu too <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right so what did you not like about the season well it's not that i didn't like the episode necessarily <laughs> but the convert <laughs> the convert episode yes. once we got to the end of this season i was like you didn't what, have what a was, whole episode for that <laughs> yeah what was the point was that the boat yeah. episode? <laughs> yeah it was like the boat episode because uh, <laughs> because all like he was mentioned yeah, I mean, they, in a sentence, they could have said, "Yeah, he was captured, but don't worry, we took care of it." Yeah, <laughs> and all I of that could that, have been a bridge. It could have been yeah. shortened. Yeah. You yeah. could have showed a little bit of that without having so much dedicated to that. I thought they were going. They were introducing the mind flare for something for the finale, mm. like. When they mm-hmm. captured Den, like, oh gosh, is he going to get right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's how the season's mm-hmm. going to end. Him not knowing who anybody is, but it's then still it was a like, lot of no. time to spend to introduce oh, the yeah, element. Yeah, yeah. 
I mean, I because I mean <laughs> they ended and there's a couple episodes. It just felt like bookend episodes. It was cool at the beginning. It was cool yeah. at the end. The middle really had nothing to do with the beginning or the end. Um, and that was one of those episodes. And when they yeah. were leaving and they were like, we got to find a place to hide. And they go to Coruscant. I was like, oh, well, that's the perfect place to hide because the Empire is not going to come there. Um, that's the home mm-hmm. of the New Republic. And so when we're hanging out with the scientist and with the uh, the Imperial girl, I kept waiting for them to be their paths to cross. And then yeah. thinking, oh, Grogu, and you're still, you're okay. And, and I'm like, no, thanks. episode, when are they getting here? They're, they're not <laughs> coming, really? I mean... What yeah. what's so it to me the, it, there was that episode there was the episode with the the droid murder mystery kind of kind of thing where it just felt like the storytelling was a little bit just some weird choices it's like why there seems there was no connective tissue really to to the mm-hmm. beginning and the end of the Jack Black episode it was like yeah. we're here to to get the Mandalorians and and get my squad and put them back together but first. We need you to do something <laughs> that's completely unrelated to anything that's going on this season. Yeah. And, and, like the and then first... they had the book in with the cool fight and, and all that. Yeah. It's like the first season had like side missions or whatever you want to call them. <laughs> they had a formula. But yeah. but yeah. there was but there was like an overarching thing where stuff connected throughout all of them. Yes. This one, it seemed like there was just like just randomness that had like a smidgen that connected, but like Overall, you didn't need everything. Yeah. For and the droid one was cool. I mean, I liked Bo Katan and Din working together. That was kind of fun. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But when you do have those side quests, like in season one, there's at least character development going on. We already know mm-hmm. that Din hates droids. We know that. And we know why. There's no discovery of that. <laughs> and we're not learning anything new about Bo Katan. And it would have been cooler if, like, her crew had gone with. Then they're all there, and then there's dialogue about why they yeah. split, and you know, you like betrayed us, and you promised us. There would could have been a little bit more interest along the way. Instead, mm-hmm. it was like, I hate droids. And we're like, we know. <laughs> um, <laughs> why are you kicking them? And why are you being such a jerk to the droids? And knocking them down. Um, he just, he that was all that cool. But one you know. YouTube video where they they keep kicking that one robot over. <laughs> Like, poor Boston, to try it. Boston Dynamics um, robot, and oh. um, and I, I know, I know, Kate, you kind of like the pirates. I, I, I didn't really care, <laughs> <laughs> just because, like, this, just because, like, it didn't develop them. But mm. it's just like they're pirates; yeah, they're no, evil, and like, and I was waiting for the yeah. captain to like break out and. Cabin fever music from <laughs> up at Treasure Island. Amazing. <laughs> well, we had the big battle with the pirates. They um, had uh, the battle itself was cool, yeah. but it just um, yeah. I, I wish that they would have built him up as more like sure. scary and mm-hmm. and everything. It was just like oh, they're pirates, but there's like twenty of them. Yeah, yeah but they had Smee. <laughs> they had the Star Wars version of Smee. Did you notice that the first yeah. mate was dressed yeah. just like Smee from Peter Pan? Was he really? Yeah, <laughs> see that. exact same. Yeah. So but yeah, yeah, I just, I yeah, I just okay. wish there was more development to that to get to yeah. that point for the battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder though too if if they're setting up for you know this the next season or the big movie. You know, like all these little things that happen because again we didn't see what happened to the doctor. I mean, we, well, we did. I'm sorry, but it was like that whole story <laughs> just seemed kind of pointless, like you said, and. Um, I, mean, he's, I mean, do you think he's dead? Well, he's he, brainless, right? He's yeah. a vegetable, maybe. at least. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, maybe. But um, so, I mean, maybe it, this season is more of a setup for something bigger, yeah. too. But um, so, I guess they I got know. what they needed from Grogu. That was a little confusing with last yeah. night's episode, yeah. I, and I didn't yeah. understand last night in last night's episode that Den nuked the clones. I thought they were busting out of their tubes. That's what I, I was like. Was I was like, are we going to see a bunch of like naked Moff Gideon? Yeah. Chasing <laughs> down? Um, yeah. And then he's like, you killed my clones. And I'm like, he, was he did? Not happy. <laughs> yeah. So. Oh, he blew them up. Yep. Yeah. Did you think the clone, that's where they were going with the cloning? Or did you think that this, by the end of the season, it was going to be a connection point to uh, the, Emperor. the sequels? Yeah. Oh. The, at first, I, I thought it might be, but then when they had that like meeting of the council or whatever, mm-hmm. um, 
it, it seemed like, oh no, this is something different. Yeah. Um, yeah. And kind so of talked still to Gray a little hope. bit on that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it could still happen. <laughs> we could still get snow. No, no, no. Um, still, yeah, still no, gives no. Us, no. no, still gives us hope that uh, they're going to stay away from the sequels oh, and okay. yeah. not <laughs> not make it go into that. I was very, I had been very worried that that's where this was going. That they were going to connect it to the first order and all of that. And I was like, oh. <laughs> but what? But made my made made me happy was when I watched the Ahsoka trailer. And they made mention of Fawn being the heir to the Empire. I'm like, that's what they're doing. Yeah, <laughs> they're doing Fawn. And and then when they had that council, I'm like, oh, thank God, they're not doing the First Order. He's <laughs> going to be taking over everything, and Gideon's got his own agenda. And and my son called it <laughs> about the clones because mm-hmm. we were like, you know, who do you think's in the container? And he was like, it's probably Gideon because he loves himself so much. Yeah. And we both laughed. Oh, nice. Let me watch the episode. And I was like, oh my God, you were right. <laughs> <laughs> but he does love himself so much. Yeah. You know? So, so um, have you heard of the Moffstache conspiracy? That he was a clone that Moff died? Stash. Yes. I, I think he is a clone. They made died. it very evident that his body was mostly robotic sounding, or at least his suit was. Yeah. Ring, yeah. Ring, ring, yeah. The whole time. And it's like, that's weird. Never heard he that before. He had no before. mustache. Yeah. I was thinking that this morning because we were thinking when we were watching it that he was in some sort of enhanced suit. But then yeah. this morning I was like, what if he was just really Moff Gideon's head and the rest yeah. of him was yeah. all like Darth Vader? I mean, he tech. had super strength and everything. So, yeah. yeah. So he didn't have a mustache. Ooh. So there's something yeah. fishy there. I mean, Everybody I don't know how knows. else. All the, all the clones didn't have mustaches. So I don't know how he would possibly get rid of his mustache <laughs> yeah. on his own. I don't know how that would. Work. And like in the no previous episode, in, in the previous episode where you saw him, you didn't hear all those noises either, too, right? Did he have the mustache in that episode? The previous, he hasn't had the mustache the whole season. Oh, okay, okay. I don't yeah. think. So yeah, I mean, it's very possible that that's what's going on. I mean, they obviously yeah. made clones of him, and they yeah. were functioning because one of them opened its eyes and freaked everybody out. I guess <laughs> the mechanical sounds to me was just like an indication of like. Yeah, his suit is mechanical helping sure. him. This is yeah. how he is stronger than them now. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. you know, even I think Jenny when he when he crushed my wife when he crushed the saber, she's like, How do you do that? I'm like, oh, I think it's it's mechanical. He's yeah. a robot. Sure. <laughs> but maybe it is evidence of being yeah, yeah, well. be yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking he's uh he's Moff Gideon model one. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't want him to be dead because I think he's one of the he's best only in two episodes. Villains. Proto Proto Gideon. Yeah. yeah, he's one of the best villains, I think. He's he really good. Just, I do. He like sounded him. awesome yeah. with the helmet mm-hmm. too. Yeah. You're just like, this is, yeah, he's a good bad guy. Yeah, when he went like, I'll handle this. And yeah. Off. Said, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. yeah, he looked like a Mandalorian though, which was kind of funny. Um, like his helmet was kind of Mandalorian. Oh, it was. It was, and it had the uh, yeah. because that was um, in Rebels, right? Or Clone Wars Rebels? Sure. There's a faction. Of the that was a Mandalorians that were under Darth Maul, and that's the kind of helmets that they had. Oh, yeah, those rebels with the horns, yeah, rebels. They had the horns on it, and that's why people were thinking, "Oh, wait, Moff has that. The Armorer has that." <laughs> yeah. Wait yeah. a second. Mm. Are they in cahoots? They both have horns. Cahoots. Uh-huh. But <laughs> I'm glad they weren't in cahoots. I liked it yes. that. The Mandalorians didn't betray each other, and they realized yeah. that mm-hmm. the the power they had was being together. Yeah, yes. they they watched Fast and the Furious, and they realized, yeah, it's all family, about family. Also, the power they have <laughs> is to be able to hit the weak points between the Beskar. Oh um, yes, they got to know without that. fail, man. <laughs> the only fail. ones that know. <laughs> yeah. And well, the stormtroopers continue to suck at shooting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's just like uh, in professional wrestling. Uh, you can never get beaten or hardly ever get beaten by your own finishing move because you know the way out of that finishing move. That's right. That's right. Only you can use that finishing mm-hmm. move. So they knew that the 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 weaknesses and for in... the soft spots. Yeah. <laughs> Which ones? All of them. All of them. <laughs> so many. <laughs> so one of the things I thought was kind of weird, and maybe I just missed something, but there was a part where and maybe it's the two episodes ago where Moff found out that they were going to reclaim Mandalore and they were yeah. trying to rebuild. And then all of a sudden in, in last week's episode, they find 
the the X wings. I'm sorry, the uh, Tie fighters and mm-hmm. um, the the stormtroopers. And it's like, where did they come from? Has he been there the whole time, or did? Yeah. yeah. Was, okay. <laughs> it's like. Yeah, that's I think, why he I didn't think want. They were there mining on the Beskar. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. true. He did say that, but it was like he was just angry that they were making their way back. Like he didn't know they were going back. I felt like, but yeah, he yeah he didn't know they were coming. He was going to go, mm-hmm. but. I don't know. Um, so and yeah, was, maybe he's been there the whole time. Plan. Yeah. Yeah. That makes yeah. sense. I guess the whole yeah. time. Yeah. yeah. Well, it, it's the typical. It's a typical Star Wars thing, just like with Navarro. When you know, they do this all the time in Star Wars, where it's like, oh no, they're invading, and it's like this town is the entire planet. <laughs> so it's, it's it's like Moff Gideon's in this little bitty hangar, and he wants <laughs> yeah. everybody off the planet. No yeah. anyone. It's like really, if you were doing something secret, like in in Dallas, I don't know that people in Florida would really know. <laughs> you were secretly mining, you know. Yeah. You know, it's it's a big planet. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, everything is is very. Uh, Stephen is in the chat, uh, which is our friend from uh, Princess and the Scoundrel, and he says, "I'm here collecting apologies for Axe and the Armorer." <laughs> <laughs> I never suspected Axe. The armor I did, yeah. and I I do yeah. apologize. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. There was, I, and and but they they laid it out perfectly for everybody to, uh, you know, to think the armor was mm-hmm. against them because, like, where did they get all this? Where did they get the the armor? Because who else makes the armor? Who else would have made it? Who, exactly. Who else would have made who it? Who did make it? Why did she say that the the Mandalore was poisonous and you couldn't even breathe there? And then they go there and they're like, "Oh, it's perfectly fine here." There's no. Mm-hmm. She believed know. all the fake news about mm-hmm. it. Well. Yeah, but yeah, she just believed mm-hmm. all the fake news. And then she left the planet. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. Oh, these guys. Hey, I'll take hurt. them back to the show. Oh, so hurt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. could be rude. No, but I yeah. think they did that perfectly. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. It was you, pretty well. You were, mm-hmm. you were sitting there thinking, yeah. "Yep, she's the bad guy," and then it's like, "Nope." They're a happy family, and uh, well, another another because there was a couple of those little setups. Because I remember when she made uh, Grogu the giant medallion. Wait for his <laughs> yeah. yeah. I told my son like I paused it and I was like, "How much you want to bet he takes a shot to the chest?" Um, and then we we're like, "Well, but he's already got the chain now." But you know, yeah. but this is even bigger and better. And I was expecting. I was like, "Oh, this is going to be it. He's going to take a shot to the chest." And he never did. <laughs> never did. He never did. But and there might be an episode later where he's fighting some kid who like, tries to punch him in the chest and oh my like, like, yeah. like a Superman two moment <laughs> yeah. or something. Oh. I did. They could have been fighting. I like <laughs> the scene where they had him and the other kid, Mandalorian kid, like mm-hmm. du- dueling. I thought that was fun. And he, uh, with the little paintball um, darts or whatever they were, <laughs> that was a fun scene. <laughs> that was funny. The only thing with that was like that one kid shot you once, ha ha ha. Yeah. But then like, was like, like <clears throat> shits him all three times. It's like he's a gangster. Can, can he's a better man than Lorian, man. man. <laughs> he's a gangster. You shoot once. Are there rules here? I don't. Know. You make sure they're going down. <laughs> three shots to the chest. They're going down. <laughs> so we did get some. Um, um, fun things in this episode or in this season, we've got um, the um, your little friend back there, the Zellians. Is that what they're called? The little guys that make the droids. Yeah. Zell- oh, those yes. dudes. Yeah. Bobby Frick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys. Bobby Frick. Yeah, we yeah. got we got them. We got a group of them, which is fun. And they dropped mm-hmm. the first. Uh, one of them dropped the first f bomb, pretty much. In um, did you know? Did you know that? <laughs> Yes, I Did saw you, that. I heard yeah. it in real time, and then I saw it later online, and I was like, yeah, I, "I thought about I heard it. <laughs> like I didn't say anything at the time because I'm watching it with my family." And then I, I uh, <laughs> no squeezy. I, I'm out, I, like, I did hear it. I'm out, wow. <laughs> I'm out mother. Yeah. We can't say that on the show. We can't but, say uh, that on our show. That cracked me up because it just showed their little attitudes. Um, we got. Um, my my one of my favorite things of the whole season, we got a live action Zeb from Rebels. <laughs> oh yeah, that was cool. even though it was just a little part. I'm like, yeah. you gotta be kidding me. At first, I was good. like, okay, yeah. At first, yeah. I was like, oh, that's money. not him, is it? And mm-hmm. then when it, when he talked, I was like, oh crap, that is Zeb. It's so mm-hmm. him. So cool. I'm hoping that he's gonna be around in Ahsoka. Oh, yeah. I was gonna say, could he be in Ahsoka? I'm hoping that. 
made you guys one caught, episode. You, you guys caught episode. Dave Filoni in last night's episode. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Hold on in his cowboy hat. Like he yeah, just cowboy like, you know what? Right I don't need anything. I'm just gonna <laughs> sit here. I think, dude, you stick out like a sore thumb. He was in the uh <laughs> he was in that episode with Zeb too. You see him in the background, like in the very oh, far yeah. background. You see his hat and it has the other two directors that were um ty- or not ty he's, he's x-wing pilots too yeah he's an x-wing fighter yeah yeah so that was cool um and then um uh grogu mm-hmm. supposedly maybe said some words oh at the uh, very end maybe talk. well yeah. the, he said the, the uh pointing at the thing no there, when or? the uh when or... they're in the ship when bo's ship and din says this is the way and then yeah <laughs> Bo-Katan says, this is the way, and then you hear him go, and they both look at him like, what? Did he just Jesus, talk? And, but then they yeah. got attacked. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then he said... Um, dropped a few F-bombs. Thank you, I think. Thanks, or something like yeah. that. Because he was like, yeah. good job. Then was like, good job, Gro- or good yeah. job, guy. And he's like, thanks. Like, he, can, yeah. he can talk this whole time. He just doesn't want to give the oath. <laughs> so it's just like, I just... Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not concerning. ready to commit. Yeah. yeah. So I didn't think he was going to get a. I, I did think he was going to get a helmet at the end, though. It's like, I was a little worried. Yeah, I was like, oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to look so goofy. Like Are the ears going to be over. outside of the helmet, or is it going to no, be no. ear I helmets, like it's part of the helmet? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, the ears is part of the face. And if you see the face, I mean, it's true. It's a problem. Yeah. Oh, that's true. It's that's true. true. I felt like I felt like they could, you know, after he after he bathed in the waters. He needed to just take some water with him, and then occasionally he could pop the helmet off and be like, "Oh, <laughs> whoo!" And then just be like, "Spritzer, Ooh. Spritzer, I'm a Mandalorian again." All right, let's go. That's that's all you guys do. That's the Methodist, Methodist way of doing things. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, can, was, can can family see each other funny. without the helmet? Is that no, it? No, no, nobody, that's nobody. Not the way. No, because <laughs> that family. was another thing that made the armor uh, suspicious because she was like. Bo-Katan walks in both worlds, and Din's like, "I'm sure under his helmet, is like, wait a minute, mm-hmm. you can do that." Yeah, Bo-Katan I did has that. Better agent who <laughs> insists on having an actress show her face a little bit more. So yeah, <laughs> tonight or we just watched it right before the show. But I was, I, uh, I said to my wife, I was like, "Do they just walk around with their helmets off just because they can? Like, well, just put it on. Like, you're more safe if you have your helmet on. Like, do you have to walk around with it off all the time? It's stinky in there. You gotta take it off. Yeah. It breathed. Um, and then probably the biggest thing we got from this season, above everything else, was that Grogu finally, at the end, got his chicken nuggies. When they went to the X-Wing bar, he climbed <laughs> up and he ate what looked like chicken nuggets? <laughs> you got a happy meal. Yeah. Got yeah, his, his chicken his nuggets. Mario toy. His toy. His toy was the head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think he got his chicken nuggets. So we got that. He talked maybe. Um, we got Zeb. I'm trying to think what else we got this season that was like. Yes. We got Hux. Uh, yeah. yeah. We got a Hux. <laughs> we got yes. a Hux. We got a Hux. He had a beard. That was Hux's dad. Yeah, Hux's father, which is played by his brother. Nice. <laughs> what? Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's the actor's that's brother amazing. playing his father. Yeah. That is amazing. <laughs> that is so great. Well, I told Chris I got all excited when uh, Captain Pillion was there because he's from the uh, Timothy oh, yeah. Zahn books. Uh, mm-hmm. He's Thrawn's right-hand man in those books. So uh, when that happened, I paused and, you know, Right, so I'm just sitting next to me, and I was like, "Whoa!" And I was like, "He's from the books," and I read like oh, years ago, and briefly explained to him why that was so amazing. And then we took it back. Um, he's like, "You have to read these we right now." Gonna, did you think? <laughs> that's right. Did you think Thrawn was going to make an appearance at some point? I um, sort of, kind of wondered, but I was like, "Yeah, that might take away from Ahsoka." No, I, I, never I thought Sabine. Thought was I thought Sabine might make an appearance. Mm-hmm. Just because she's Mandalorian, and they were trying to take back Mandalore, but she didn't. So that was what surprised me. I thought maybe she'll pop up. But maybe Hux is a clone mm-hmm. of Moff Gideon. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute! <laughs> Wait, that doesn't crack. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. Um, let's see. So we, got, uh, we got. Okay. Uh, we got Jar Jar back. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Why did I? Oh, that I was totally great. About that. Yeah. That was so mm-hmm. good. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. That was. I think. <clears throat> I don't know why that. I was thinking that was a different show for some reason. Because it could be its <laughs> own. It kind of was. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was there. I said all together. That was the perfect way to do that. Mm-hmm. I thought that mm-hmm. was the perfect person yeah. to save him. I thought if they made it somebody that we all know, they would just be like, "Wait a second, how did they get there?" Or yeah. mm-hmm. how did that mm-hmm. happen? But bringing him back, and he's he's basically he was the same character that he plays in the kids. Game show, right? Mm. Right? Yeah, the same Maybe, character yeah. name at least. Yeah, I think it's the same same character, the same Jedi or whatever. Hmm. So it made sense that the guy that trains the um you know the kids in the game show would save the kid. Yeah. It makes sense. Yeah. But well, I was very happy for him as an actor to, to oh, get that yeah. opportunity after mm-hmm. all the uh pain he went through. With the he was in the studio stuff. next door filming the game show when the clones attacked. <laughs> yes. Wait, oh. <laughs> Gotta get the kids out. <laughs> yeah, I thought that whole, like, uh, his whole look and then how he, he carried himself when he was fighting, I thought it was so cool. Mm-hmm. And I, I love the speeder bike chase, which if you want to, yeah, that to was hear cool. more about the speeder bike chase and how it could be a ride at Walt Disney World, <laughs> check out Living with the Land Speeder on YouTube or wherever you listen to podcasts where we turn Tron into maybe order 66 anyways uh that's a little plug for the other <laughs> show uh yeah i loved it i, I want more of him i want mm-hmm. it makes me now mm-hmm. wonder what happened between them flying off in the Naboo mm-hmm. ship and where we see grogu in season one yeah mm-hmm. in that little closet thing or whatever well, i feel like they're just slowly giving us little bits and pieces of that yeah. um yeah so we'll, we'll probably we'll probably get more mm-hmm I hope he doesn't like. I hope something doesn't happen to him. Over the next twenty shows, we'll have a full story. I hope he's still out there. <laughs> yes. yes. Wouldn't yes, it be yes. funny if they bring Jar Jar in and Jar Jar meets the the Jedi? None of that playing, would be funny. Playing two parts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Jar Jar. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> oh, Jar Jar. He's. I want to talk about Jar Jar for the rest. Um, okay. So, anything else from this season that we? There was a surprise. I'm trying to think. Mm. Hmm. I think that was all the surprises. We had the um, oh, what's his name? The um, I have spoken. We didn't talk about those guys. In oh, the, 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 oh, the, oh yeah, those dudes were there. Yeah. there. yeah, yeah, yes, yes. So we got the little world knots, which that was. What was that, was that cool. story? He that they was helped the droid. Them. The the droid one. That's a Jack Black story. Oh, okay, yeah. that's right. Yeah. So that was cool. The yeah, the murder mystery. They All right, so Project Necromancer. Mm, yeah, Snoop. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right. Doctor. Do you want? And then you guys, before we started, you were you were all poking fun at the little circle at the end where it went to the the loony the, cir- the circle wipe. <laughs> do you want to hear why they probably did that, or do you just why? Want to Okay, both fine. actually. I'd like to do both. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. The circle wipe has been used three other times in Star Wars. Mm. A New Hope ends with the circle wipe. The Phantom Menace ends with the circle wipe. And the Force Awakens ends with the circle wipe. So basically, mm. the the ending of the first act if you want to say that ends with a circle wipe no none of the others movies did not empire not jedi nothing just the first three so it makes me think that this was the end of the first act these three seasons was basically the first act Mm -hmm. we've ended that act ahsoka will probably start maybe start the new act or the of the mando verse or whatever which (laughs) makes it fitting how they ended the show they sort of ended the show no cliffhangers sit, sitting on the porch <laughs> yeah it ends <laughs> this act it ends yeah. this yeah. section of the mandoverse or whatever you want to call it he's sitting on the porch yeah. you know 
Yeah, all's good in the world, which means, which is why they made the Mandalorians all sort of come together. Everything sort of got wrapped up. So circle, uh, wipe into the first act for a better lack of a better term. Circle takes which, a square. <laughs> circle so, takes but square. it's cool that New Hope, Phantom Menace, Force Awakens, all in the same way. Which makes me think they did this on purpose that it wasn't hmm. just. Uh, aren't, aren't they supposed to start shooting season four like in August? Oh yeah, I mean there's going to be a season yeah, four, it's but it'll over. be like it's just the first. So part. yeah, yeah. So like in the Marvel you know, uh, Cinematic Universe, so this you've was got, phase one. You got phase one, phase two. So this mm. was basically phase one. Phase one is now ended. We're moving on to phase two, which probably starts with Ahsoka, I would assume. And then maybe they yeah. jump ahead in time. So this would be Dude, like Thrawn. This is this is their Thanos. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, phase he two is, would be Thrawn. He's blue. <laughs> Moff Gideon could have been the the phase one villain. He was Loki. Yeah, Thrawn <laughs> is going to be the phase two villain. It makes sense to me. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Well, so. When you do a lot of research, <laughs> it, I, I don't know. Let me see your water bill. <laughs> 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 it was a circle wipe it was a circle wipe i mean that's what it was <laughs> mm-hmm. whether or not the circle wipe signified anything i think they <laughs> did kind of close things up like you said they're yeah. every everybody's happy everybody's mm-hmm. together there's no reason to be like i can't wait till the next season <laughs> that's it's kind of but it's like what happens mm-hmm. next you know it's like i love watching man and Lauren, so what happens next but there was not this cliffhanger it all yeah. just kind of ends, so it's it could be a long time before we before it's on again because we know it takes them a long time to put these things together, <laughs> and and then we do have Ahsoka, and then um, it maybe maybe there's this big long time in between, and all of a sudden Grogu's this big uh, whatever Yoda thing. Oh, that'll be in the uh, Ray movie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It, it all ties to it's Ray. Ray. <laughs> so, oh, next. Mandalorian, from what I've heard, the script is already written. Um, which makes me think that basically the show, what was it going to be called with Cara Dune? Basically, the, they're just taking uh, they're just taking uh, that show and yeah. replacing Cara Dune with Din, mm. and because he goes mm. talks to the X wing guy. It's about says, hunting Imperials, yeah. Yeah, hey, mm-hmm. you know, you know, on a case by case basis, blah 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 mm-hmm. blah, which was what that show was going to be about. Mm. Um, so I'm thinking that's why the script's written. That's why it's ready to go because basically they just reworked <laughs> what they already had, and now he's going to be this bounty hunter going out to protect, you know, the Republic, basically. Um, yeah, but I'm I'm glad they there wasn't a cliffhanger. I'm glad they wrapped it up. Um, I don't because. That's with these shows, especially when they spread them out. Yeah, you get to the next season, you're like, "What? What happened?" What happened? I know, but it wouldn't have mattered it's if there's a cliffhanger because there would probably be an episode of Ahsoka that would be the Mandalorian just yeah, probably resetting probably everything that they just right. cliffhanged. So, but now they don't have know. to. Now that yeah. it's wrapped up, unless they're just going to show them on the porch again. I really okay. want now that they have um, the Mandalorian at Galaxy's Edge. I really want them to sit up like this little spot, a little photo spot with him where he can just sit on the porch and Groku can mm-hmm. just sit down by the water playing with frogs. Yeah. And- Got his suit made into a scarecrow. But he, but he can't yeah. just sit there. Cause I mean, that, that's the th- <laughs> one thing, right? Is that they, they said that he can't, can't stay on Mandalore. He has to go do the journeys, take him on the journeys and the journeys aren't. Mm-hmm. They're like Mormons. That, that much journey <laughs> sitting on the porch playing with frogs. So. But I got a galaxy's edge. Put a little bike in the like, room. Trying to find him, just go to his porch. Then get your picture taken with him. <laughs> anyway. Knock on people's doors. <laughs> Are you with the Empire? <laughs> Have you heard about This Is the Way? <laughs> but I think they set up. They set up. They did a pretty good job setting up other stuff that they're going to be doing. Yeah. I think it's just mm. going to be. It, to me, it almost felt like, you know, with you know, you have to you have to take Grogu on his journeys and the trials and blah blah blah, like you did, um, and then with him freelancing for the New Republic, I feel like it, it's almost like resetting the show back to season one, where it's yeah. not mm-hmm. going to be yeah, Mando and you know, 
other Dave Filoni creations doing things in, in the world. It's just going to be the two of them going on adventures, yeah. which I think is great. Buddy cops. Yeah. And I like <laughs> that R4 is there now. I like that, that that's kind of the three. Yeah. Him, yeah. him the kid, and the droid. Mm-hmm. Um, I loved R4 in last night's episode. I love the mouse droid. <laughs> Oh, yeah. that was, that great. was great. Around, like doing that hard left and turning his lights on. That was fantastic. <laughs> I've, never, I've never seen Master Wars with the the flashing lights before. Yeah, that was, that was so that was oh, that was, was cool. That was awesome. Yeah, he got his buddies yeah. and all like running into him. So like, what else can they do? <laughs> I, I wish I wish uh, Grogu could have kept his Krang suit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, IG11 yes. suit. Like I, I, I liked him in that. It was I did too. Kind of fun. Yes, mm, but no, now he's the sheriff. Yeah, the <laughs> marshal. Badge. The marshal. I am a marshal. <laughs> you, so, so the the scary thing about the way they kind of ended it with everything being kind of tied up is like. What if we run out of money and we decide not to do Mandalorian anymore? At least it kind of ended. Yeah, at least it ended. You know? yeah. It's like, it, it's, I mean, you could see that being the end of the series. And the hope not, but yeah. at least they've got that option. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> I mean, we, uh, this is the, the section All their of the money show. issues. Yeah. <laughs> Sec- <laughs> section of the show, we're going to stop and we're going to pause a minute. Oh. Um, and remember no, 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 the man, the myth, the legend, Paz Vizsla. Just okay. Just pouring out, <laughs> pouring out for Paz. Who? What? Has, What's happening? I'm not sure. Paz, the, the, Paz, the guy, the Mandalorian that got killed. Oh, oh heavy armor, armor guy. Yeah. Paz. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, his I son has no father now. You give oh, like, yeah. Dude, this <laughs> is the way. They, they yeah, grew up, they the were living on a planet with everything trying to kill him. I mean, come on. Yeah, it's surprising he lasted this long. I know. But, well, it's I, because you guys want to go to the, the beach? Direct- Let's go to the beach. It's a great day. Oh my lord! There's a giant <laughs> crocodile. I thought that, that that was a good ending for him. Oh well, you you knew the moment he was like, "I'll hold him off." Like, oh, oh yeah. yeah, oh yeah. Just like, but, um, what was you he know, I'll stay. I'll be fine. He held him off he, until the Rogue One. The Torian, it's like the guy from Rogue One with the Torian guards. Gun, like. Yeah, yeah. Which I'm glad they brought back those guards because they sort of redeemed cool. them from the Last Jedi. Um, well, I, I mean, the, <laughs> uh, uh, a half beaten down Mandalorian and a little baby <laughs> took out three of them. Yes. Yeah. While like Ray and Kylo, it took them forever. Yeah. <laughs> Like, but they were. Really they, I like them well better. I like them, but this, <laughs> this version of them better. Oh they yeah, they look way cool. If you look at the oh, one, yeah, they, Jedi, so they, they, cool. they had no visors. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. why they're so they were just so good. Oh, they just couldn't they, say, yeah. They just they, <laughs> they were so good. They were just too too cool too 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 hard. Mm-hmm. They went hardcore. They don't even have to see what they're doing. That's that's <laughs> these guys. They fought Mando and Grogu. They had visors. They could see what they were doing. I mean, oh, yeah, it's a hand bunch of wusses. What a wuss. Mm. Yeah, come on. <laughs> All right, so I've, we've been going for like over an hour. So, I think. <gasps> Jeez. Oh, I think we should. Now, now one, one, now, just you, you had your moment of silence, but the oh, real the moment past? of silence, the, the real moment of silence. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the dark saber. Well, you not the real dark saber, though. Yeah, we didn't talk about that. Just so basically, that. Disney destroyed the dark saber so they can build and make a new one. So you'll have to buy it. Well, I'm <laughs> thinking, I'm thinking the man, like the the crystal is. Uh, I, I I would hope that Grogu, when he builds his lightsaber, he'll use the crystal. From the well, the crystals. Yeah. I mean, good. The crystal's made out of Beskar, so mm-hmm. it's it's sort of formed with Beskar and kyber to make that's what makes it the dark saber so i just thought that would be a perfect i feel like that would be the perfect lightsaber for him would be to use the the kyber crystal from that i think it's all merchandising like with the other crest they let you fall in love with it you everyone buys one and like you like the ship isn't this a nice (laughs) ship you love the ship the ship is garbage (laughs) (laughs) buy a new ship (laughs) <laughs> Look at this ship. This is the N1. You like it? You like it? Garbage. <laughs> <laughs> just gonna do More Legos. 
every, <laughs> every couple of seasons. Every couple of seasons. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You like Grogu? You like Grogu? Well, he's leaving. He's going with Luke. Oh, wait. Bring him back. Bring him back. Bring him back. <laughs> wait, never mind. We're sorry. We're he's sorry. Back. He's back. He's back. <laughs> Keep buying Grogu stuff. We can't find anything else cute. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, time. Okay. Let's end on this. Is there anything yeah. that you wish they would have had that they didn't have in this season? Mm. Hmm. more episodes like the last two episodes oh yeah that's (laughs) true yeah that would have been pretty awesome that would have been like an adrenaline like dude those axe wings dropping yeah that was beautiful that was a beautiful yeah it's high fighters high fighters the same thing i keep doing that too i'm so excited (laughs) i got the name wrong um uh, I wish they had a, a whole episode that was just uh, Boba Fett in his day to day life. Oh man, they missed the tub. Yeah, <laughs> I thought he might market. show up at some point. But... <laughs> in the last episode, it's a perfect opportunity, right? Yeah, I thought he'd show up. Slate, he or didn't. Starship, whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's, um, he's got a. That would have been great. Talent. They could have been sitting there on the porch, and he looks over, and Boba Fett's sitting there like a bantha. <laughs> open a beer. <laughs> 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 I, I would have liked to have seen more of the mythosaur. Yeah. Uh, obviously there's going to be something later, later yeah. probably. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. We'll call it again at the end. But you think Grogu, I think Grogu sensed the mythosaur at that last. Yes. Uh, yeah. Last I mean, the... Jedi have a thing with animals. Yeah. Connection. Um, he knew he was there. Not Just come on out of your pool. <laughs> Just, ah, I'll tell him later. <laughs> <laughs> They like to be surprised by when giant creatures underwater. Mm-hmm. Which I guess is just breeze underwater. I don't know. <laughs> I we're trying to think of oh, you know who I would love to see somewhere in the season, but then because I just like the actor. Mm. Cobb Vance. To, oh, but no, he can't show up because he's never mind. He's in he's a he's in a, he's a he's in a tank somewhere. Are they gonna have do are they gonna make another Boba Fett season? Or are they just like oh, I, I kind of feel like they're not. <laughs> Yeah. What happens to Cobb then? I like Cobb. Him and Finnick can get their own show. Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool. If Finnick got her own show, that'd be really cool. Yeah. I like that um, character a lot. Yeah. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wish to showed up. I think, mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. I think they hit all the points. They wrapped everything up. There wasn't anything that was like, I wish they. We didn't see very much of the lady that repairs the ships. We saw her. Oh, yeah, bit. yeah. That would have been more fun. That's, that's not a bad I, thing. I kind of thought that's <laughs> where he was uh, going when he was going to the bar mm. to, to meet with the ex-wing pilots. Uh, but uh-huh. he, uh, he, that's not where he was. They had that fun tie-in with Andor with the, uh, I don't know, the cubicle. <laughs> The cubicle yeah. wasteland <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where, where everyone goes to have their spirits crushed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and we had Tim Meadows in this season, too. Yeah, Tim Meadows. That was oh, yeah, random. Tim Meadows that was so random. Mm-hmm. That was... <laughs> but see, that was good. That was like a good sort of like... No, it was. Know, hey, it's an actor you haven't seen in a long time. And, I was you know. like... And then when the lady walks in, it's like he goes into the ladies' man. Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in my office. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with the lady on this one. <laughs> That's awesome. So yeah, it was a good season. I thought they had some good cameos, some good um, mm-hmm. story storylines, and they wrapped it up in a way that nobody was predicting. I don't think I ever heard anybody predict the way they ended it. They were all predicting that people were going to turn on each other, that people were going to die, that people were going to... Oh, we, yeah, we said that the the way it was going to end was that Bo Katan and and uh, Mando were going to fight <laughs> and yes. to, yeah. for the saber mm-hmm. and all this, you know. So we're way off. Did. She turned they pretty did. quickly. No one could have predicted Circle fade off. <laughs> well, if you're following, no. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, so chart. can we circle? Can we do that right now? Just uh, can you do that? Just I can circle. make us all go away if you want. Let's see. Here we go. Do do do. <laughs> it wasn't a circle though. Nope, we're all mixed not, up now. Not, not yeah, quite as uh, clean as the circle, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> At least Grogu didn't like hop out of the circle and walk towards the screen and go. All right. So, well, Ray, thanks for coming back on. Yeah, man. Uh, anytime. I don't know when the next round table. What will the next round table be? After mm. the next show. Ahsoka's mm. in the summer, right? 
is in well, the summer. There's no, a, Mar- is there in a August. Marvel. Yeah, August, there's a Marvel yeah. coming. I there's think. a Marvel. Well, we also have the um, <gasps> Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy. Ooh. But we we also have uh, Visions coming soon. Visions, Star Wars Visions, yeah, Star Wars. Oh, yes. And uh, many more round little, tables. Many Jedi's. Oh, the, the little Jedi. little kid Jedi's. Yeah. What, what's that show? The little people. The That's little on people. now, isn't it? <laughs> on the, mm-hmm. the uh, precious moments, Jedi. If that doesn't end with <laughs> all of them dying, I don't. What's the? What's the yeah, what's the point? <laughs> <point? laughs> <laughs> yes. Master Skywalker, oh, what? what are what? we going Master to do? Coming. <laughs> End of the show. I don't know when that takes place, though. So I don't know when yes. that takes place. Yeah, uh, yes. I'm well, sure this Ahsoka, is long before that. Yeah, so good. <laughs> there's a Mar. I know there's got to be a Marvel. There's probably a Marvel. Secret Invasion. Secret yeah. Invasion. Yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we got That's stuff true. coming up. We'll be coming? back. Ant Ant Man is supposed to hit Disney Plus soon, I think. And Spider Man. Yes, Spider Man. Oh right, yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be here every week, you guys. <laughs> well, we only do it every other week now, so oh, my <laughs> you get some gosh. weeks off. That doesn't work for me. <laughs> <laughs> we will. Maybe we'll have you and um, on our other show sometime where you could change a Disney ride in Star Wars if I am. Oh. Okay, it's fun. We got a very special guest coming up, hopefully next week. We're oh, still working exciting. out on the details. It and you, we'll Ray, you're you're a very special person, it's a very special guest. But this guy, <laughs> all I will say is that Tony Baxter. Back to him. <laughs> I, no, this is what I'll say about our guest coming up. So you want to make sure you go on. Living with the Land Speeder on YouTube or wherever, and subscribe so you know when the shows are coming up. Uh, somewhere in my room, there's an autographed picture of him. Oh, that narrows it down. Yeah. So if it were to turn on some lights so I could like look Goldberg. around. <laughs> no, 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 no. Someone from Star Wars, we're hoping, fingers crossed, that he will be on the um, show hopefully next week if his schedule allows it. Yep. If not, he'll be on soon after that. Dwayne Johnson, fingers so, crossed. <laughs> no, we didn't want. He called. We didn't want him. He's uh, busy. Uh, Prince Harry. <laughs> <laughs> he has to do with Star Wars. Obviously, that Daniel, we can't Daniel say. Craig. We can't say anything else. Anyways, I'll tell you afterwards, Ray. Uh, <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> okay, let's end the show now. <laughs> but thank you. This has been episode two hundred and seventy-two of I Am Geek. And the guys may be back with you in two weeks. I won't, though. What? I will be on the Star Cruiser. Blasting off into space. May oh the 4th. Yeah. So the next... Yeah, so I'll be on Living With Land next week, and then the next week will be May the 4th, and I'll be in a galaxy far, far away. So you guys can Florida. hang out if you want to. Florida. Yeah. Florida. <laughs> Orlando. I'll be on a across, spaceship, across okay? The street from a theme park. <laughs> Good night, everybody. See you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in space. <laughs>